everybody it's me carly and i'm back with another one in arusha so i met a tour guide friend here named Cantona, and he let me know that there was a such place called the elephant caves and enduro waterfalls in his hometown of karatu well near ngorongoro conservation area so we went out there um we took the dollar dollar there Okay, yeah, the dollar dollars do be real packed and tight, but I enjoyed it. So, so you have to swim out. <laughs> okay. It's for you too. Yeah, she's from America. She's the one who from uh, the school. She's two. So, uh, they are my brother. And he's from America too come to do like a photograph because uh, it's been almost like uh, three years so be the one who come to look yeah. and any improvement to the arts uh, I mean support of them yeah. and then there are three boys me, and a friend of mine will meet him and on the back one so this is uh, he the one who do some interview of us he was telling me a lot about uh, some people who have been really good to him and told me about his best friends and everything from Karatu. So I thought that was real cool. Um, I love how people can be very friendly and everybody can be like really there for each other here. Even uh, random foreign people like just coming to give blessings to people here. I mean, that's nice. Very, very nice. Karatu is west of Arusha, and this is the same way you have to take to get to a few of the parks like uh, Lake Manyara, and of course, we're going to Ngorongoro Conservation Area, and also Serengeti is this way. Y'all can sit back and enjoy the ride. I know my camera, it is just not even doing it justice, but... It literally looked like heaven on earth. Heaven on earth, look at the clouds. So after we got off the dollar dollar, he decided to drive us to the place where we were staying. Motorcycle rides are my favorite, y'all. You're welcome. I never had the uh, opportunity. Yeah. And yeah, it's stuff in your eyes too. On the back? So I saw his mom pass by, that's why I was waiting. Yellow. Like a rainbow.
after I got to the place, I changed and then it was time to go out. I met a couple of his friends and then they just started showing me around Karatu or some places that would be open at night, you know. So I really love that everybody kind of came down to the pool hall and like they played in teams or, you know, just watched and some of them like bet money, some win, some lose, but it's nothing so major. And after it was time for their friend's birthday party, he's like a well-known DJ in Karatu and I'm sure maybe even more in Tanzania. His name is DJ Baby. I love how like sweet it was like to have like all those cakes and everybody come to like say happy birthday to a DJ. I feel like at home, I don't know if that happens as often. Maybe there's more bottles and not so much uh, like dedication. Oh yeah, and I believe the other girl's name was Gloria. It was her birthday celebration as well. But yeah, like they were giving speeches. I think his soon to be wife was there, right there cutting the cake actually. Yeah, it was very sweet to see everybody come out and him giving his own like dedications to everybody. They even let me try the cake, oh my God. And they wanted me to say like, hello, I was so nervous. Yeah, say hi. Hey everybody, my name is Carly, how are you? That's a whole video. But anyway, it was a good night. And the next day, we got to go out and see more of Karatu. Like, of course, in the daytime. Like, you know, grab some snacks and meet up with Charles, the other tour guide who is his best friend. Then, yeah, we were on the way. But until then, y'all enjoy the stroll. Just enjoy the stroll because it is so beautiful out there. When I tell you I would be so content with that brown little house right there. Like my one bedroom, my studio, and yeah, just enjoy life. I'm gonna say this on like every video, but y'all should just come see Tanzania. Come see Arusha. When you're finally convinced, you know, let me know and I will book everything for you. If you didn't know, I am a travel agent and travel content creator like Doug. <laughs> Everywhere. My heart is beating out of my chest. <sighs> I just walked up. Okay, that's a short curve of the hill, but the hill is like this steep. So I think technically the price for the ranger walking with us is included in the entry fees, but also um, they had walking sticks that you could use if you didn't bring your own. And literally a few minutes into the hike, these were the views. Okay, 
Okay, so it looks like it's about to rain. Okay. And oh my God, I realized I didn't get to introduce Charles. Hello. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> now, if I'm correct, I believe he speaks like five languages. That's crazy. And oh my God, it was hot. The bugs were out. An ant had gotten my pants. But luckily, the guys were there. They were super helpful. And as you can see, I already had Charles helping me with my bag because me doing that hike plus the extra weight, no way. On the way, the ranger has stopped to, you know, give us some fun facts and everything about the land or like the jungle that the elephants walk through there. Um, there's even leopards at night, which I didn't know, which is why he's carrying the gun. And that there were some plants out there that, you know, they'll have you itching like real bad if you touch them. So, of course, I was paying attention and fighting off like flies or whatever at the same time. Okay, people, I'm fighting for my life to go to the elephant cave. We were basically at the elephant cave when the ranger stopped us and was like, oh, like, just be quiet. Everybody be quiet. Now me, I'm like, oh my God, ain't no way he saw like a leopard or something on my day out there, but really, it was a buffalo. Now, I guess you're not supposed to frighten them or make any noises. Maybe they're, you know, territorial. I'm not fully sure, but the fact that we had to be quiet, you know, I don't ask no questions. But he was just hanging around the caves. So this is where the elephants have dug into just like the earth, I guess. Wherever they can find the minerals, you know, they'll go digging for them. Like, they roll around in the dirt, they eat it, anything. Anything to ingest it, you know, strengthen their bodies, bones. It's good for them. Just like us drinking mineral water, but look at that. I was scared. Because what if it charged at me? Uh-uh. But back to the hike, it was super hard, actually. Like, the inclines and then going back down. And really, uh, we got to go down for the most part for this. But of course, you know, if you go down, you got to come back up. But I was just so happy for a breeze. And it looked like it was out of a movie, like Anaconda. Just the jungle, basically. guys took me to see the souvenir shop and across from that is Charles's organization where he helps single moms like you know get employment and skills and in turn they provide uniforms for kids so that just about wraps up the trip we headed back to Arusha the next day and oh, as you can see it was a rainy day oh my god I hate it but the sun came out later on the dollar dollar. Okay, bye y'all.